Welcome to the Ferris Show on television. First tonight from Washington, the coming Democratic primary fight. We are now right before Labor Day, the year before the presidential election. This is when the presidential campaign really begins. And every day now, it's more likely President Biden will face significant challengers from inside his own party. A new Associated Press poll shows 69% of Democrats, of Democrats, say Mr. Biden is too old for another four years. And that bears worth repeating, because every day now for President Biden, even from his own party, there appears to be growing amounts of bad news. 69% of Democrats say Mr. Biden is too old for re-election. Of course, he's far ahead of both Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. We have heard from a ton of you over the weekend about our segment on a lack of debates between them. Here's Williamson from Friday's show. Is the fix in? Well, if the DNC has their way, the fix is in. They don't call it a fix. Their narrative is, oh, this is just the tradition. We have an incumbent president, and so there are not debates. And Bernie Sanders didn't really show up in New Hampshire this weekend to rally support for Joe Biden. Democrats, at least the DNC and President Biden supporters, don't like what's going on. It's why aides to Kamala Harris leaked to NBC News over the weekend. Biden advisors bristle at Gavin Newsom's plan to debate DeSantis. Vice President Kamala Harris's allies are particularly annoyed by the California governor's move into the spotlight ahead of the possible 2028 Democratic nomination fight. Of course, our hypothesis is there might be a 2024 nomination fight. And we know that because if Mr. Biden is running, the Newsom-Kamala fight doesn't matter. But it does matter. Because Democrats aren't really sure if Mr. Biden is the right choice. Newsom Watch, which we have been on for months now, is a real thing. By example after example, the California governor is getting ready. Maybe not for a primary challenge, but he's getting ready to, to be on deck, to just be ready if he's needed. Of course, the Biden campaign shot the report by NBC News down which tells us everything. You leak to NBC and then you shoot it down. Untrue reports really don't matter. True reports about uncomfortable topics cut deep, as this did. Chief Washington correspondent Blake Berman uh, is with us now. I thought what was most interesting about this poll was not where Joe Biden was necessarily, but the 23 percent of yeah. Democrats still say they're undecided. This is the leader of the Democratic Party. He occupies the White House. He is running for re-election, Leland, and 23 percent uh, within his own party, as you mentioned. That is one in four Democrats say they are undecided. It, it goes back to the polling uh, that you just brought up of his age, of course, and, and all those real concerns. Um, but as we sit out here, let's sit here right now, 23 percent is a staggering number any way you, you look at it. Look, I spoke to the... Um, a uh, Biden campaign official today about this NBC story with Gavin Newsom. I'll tell you this much. I didn't really sense any sort of concern from the Biden campaign as it relates to Gavin Newsom. They said when it comes to the debates, right, there's this debate going on between Gavin Newsom and Ron DeSantis that might take place. I was actually told that uh, the Newsom team ran this by Biden advisors, and they said, look, uh, go on out there, go debate Ron DeSantis. It was essentially done with the blessing of the advisors of the president. And then it was uh, also noted to me, look, when President Biden went out west, of course, he had that the well, California he saw swing and the, yeah. he saw Gavin I guess the, the question to me, though, is it's one thing for the Biden team to be fine with it, because if Biden gets out, they don't really care. It's if the Kamala team is OK with it, because Gavin Newsom is, is the main competition there. Uh, Democrats' problems with President Biden, age, the Hunter Biden thing is now starting to become an issue. Approval numbers, likability, cares about people like me, all down. Lingering economic issues now, yep. now a problem. Did I mention the age problem? Which, interestingly enough, Crean Jean-Pierre, uh, now that the president's back from vacation, took a question on that today. Take a listen. In many ways, this president has been able uh, to do things that is going to change um, how American families move forward, uh, whether it is economic, with economy, whether it's health care, whether, um, you know, it is trying to make sure that they are able uh, to uh, to give to their, you know, do what they can for their family, for their kids. 
Uh, that is important. And so that's what we will happily, happily to discuss as, we, as it relates to age, what the president has been able to do and how he's been able to deliver. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.